Can you guys hear me? Can you hear the microphone? I'm trying to think where I can put my phone so that I can read it there. Just chilling out. I don't know if the game's too loud as well, not turn it down. Play the game. Patience, patience. Only just started. There was something I wanted to check real quick. Hey, yeah, I see Alex stream bombing. <laughs> hey Mitch, hey Brad, what's up? Give me one sec, I need to check. There's a code I wanted to check on here. So that we can turn off like the supersonic music and stuff. Uh, just to see where I save it. Remember how you get into the sound test on this game? Was it, or is it in the DA? Oh, in fact, it is in here. Uh, let's see. Wait, so it says four zero six two one four. Oh, in fact, I think you've got to do that in some other mode, it doesn't even matter. It's been a while since I've actually tried it, so... Let's do Sonic and Tails again, regular. I haven't played this game in ages again. I used to play it so often. So. So what you guys been up to? Anything new going on? Let's see if I can get these without making a mess of it like last time. <laughs>
was a work we've seen about the closed beta, <laughs> much like RE2 DLC. I think that uh, Project Resistance game is garbage. Like, I wouldn't buy it until it drops down at like five pounds. You know, like literally nothing for it. It's too buggy, and like, if you're not playing it with people that've got microphones on, you just can't get anywhere in it. I must have played like. I think close to 30 matches in it, and like, uh, the entire 30, I've only won like two of them. And the only two I ever won were the ones where like, anybody was using a microphone. Other than that, it's like, just complete chaos, like, like if you're not cooperating in it, you just can't get anywhere in it. I think it was just really repetitive as well, it just wasn't all that fun. And the likes of Mr. X in it is like, way too overpowered. Anybody that's playing as the like the person controlling all this stuff's pretty much got a massive advantage over everybody. They just like seriously need to nerf stuff in it. It's almost unplayable. I'll tell you, like right from the get-go, it's gonna be one game I ain't supporting at launch anyway. Feels like a really cheap cash grab. I haven't seen gameplay of it in a long time. <laughs> hey Juliana, what's up? But yeah, I just... I don't think that uh, Project Resistance thing was any good. Like, it's fun for a couple of hours maybe, but like afterwards, you've pretty much seen everything there is to see in it. It really, like, it really does feel more like a DLC than an actual game, I don't know what they were thinking. I get a feeling too, whenever it comes out it's going to be full price as well, so it's like over here it's going to be probably like maybe upwards of £40, which is crazy for a game like that. Because even like Umbrella Core when it came out over here was full price. Hey Louise, what's up? Or Louise? Hang on, I'll check that comment in one sec. I see, I really need a better place to put my phone so as I can read it without. Do something to it. Is that the French guy that's always talking on it? I see, I didn't. Like, I figured he was gonna be a lot more vocal when you were playing it, but it's, uh. I didn't exactly notice it all that much, but that's probably because, like, you're just so concentrated at the time on everything else going on.
Huh. Might as well try to cut the corner there again, though. It's not gonna make a mess. Well, I guess we are doing this the long way. I don't know what it is about them, like, looping all of the, the lines on that there. It feels more like when it, like, whenever it does keep repeating, you can... It's kind of annoying when it doesn't. Mm -hmm. I'll just forget about that. As I say, I, I wonder how well it's gonna, like, gonna sell, because... I remember, like, when it was first shown, everybody seemed, like, overly negative about it, but... Now that people are playing it, they seem kind of indifferent about it. I honestly think it's just a cash grab at this point. Uh, like one of the matches I played on it as well, it took like upwards of, I think it was like four minutes to get into a match. And that was after one day on it, so like, I get the feeling like the community will die out quite quick in that. Did not want to break this. Hey Eric, what's up? How are you? YouTube must have been patched, like, the viewer count thing seems to actually be changing now on it. Whereas any other time I used it before an update, like, it would only, like, show one number and then you'd have to constantly refresh it. A small improvement. Although for every improvement they seem to be making lately, they, like, they make about 10,000 errors. I mean, like, they busted the sub count thing all of a sudden as well, like, I always need to go to, like, point something instead of just showing you the full number. So mine was, like, constantly going back and forward on it the other day, I couldn't tell if it was an actual bug on YouTube's end, or... or if I was the way it's meant to be. Hey Alex, I just seen your Discord message there, I didn't get a chance to reply. How's the game? Is it any good? Yeah, I can't see it lasting too long either, because I think Umbrella Core died out pretty fast. Although, like, admittedly, I, like, I thought Umbrella Core at first was an okay game, but... Like, after so long and it just became a mess.
frame rate quality is great. Nice. I see I had that Lego had a power game on PS3 years ago, but I don't I just couldn't get in it all that much. I think Lego games nowadays are hard to stick to, like because you're farming those studs in it all the time. I always feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over again. Although, like, after playing LEGO Dimensions, I really wanted an, an actual LEGO Sonic game. I feel like there's so much they could do with it if they actually made a full game based on it. I need to get back to playing Dragon Quest at some point as well. I started it a couple days ago, but I just haven't been in the mood to play it all in there. Honestly, I haven't really felt all that much in the mood to play anything lately, I just cannot decide what to play. Decisive lately, like trying to figure out what I want to play. Some, what's up? Sonic Advance 3. Never... Maybe someday if I decide to play all three again, but... Oof. Too many cheap pits and stuff in Sonic Advance 3. Especially on that first level when you go around that loop and it drops you right into a spike pit. It's like almost unavoidable. Like great game design. That's why I'll never understand people say like Advance 3 was better than Advance 2. I just don't see it at all. I mean, teach their own though. Play games you can with fans. What kind of games are you thinking? Like, uh, Team Sonic Racing or something? I see, I've, I've asked a couple of people if they wanted to play stuff before. Like, that bow and couple other people but I can never seem I got a hold of that bow. I haven't actually seen him in a long time now, he disappeared. But yeah, as I say, I'm open to playing stuff co-op. We'll need to set something up at some point and we can get a co-op game going. But yeah, I was actually going to set something up for Team Sonic Racing the other day. I was going to put it on my community board. And maybe we can get a group of his plane. Still, uh, I want to get like Resident Evil 6 going as well. Like if we got, uh, what do you call it, Predator mode in it or something. I 
say it's just trying to work around everybody's time zones as well is a bit tricky. Oh, we'll figure something out. What other co-op games were you thinking, like, online-wise? I'm trying to think, like, off the top of my head what else we could play. Team Sonic Racing. Seems fun. Yeah, it's a pretty good game. <laughs> if you mute the soundtrack in a Sonic game and put it in the title, make it that bit. I see he was on Discord the other day. It said he was online, but he didn't say anything. So, like, I really don't know what's going on with him. He was the one that was keeping the Discord alive. <laughs> Like without him, it's just gone so quiet. Hope he's doing okay. I get the feeling it's maybe just like schoolwork or something that's kind of caught up with him. Just shapes and beats. I don't think I've heard of those. Are they just like rhythm games? The only kind of rhythm game I've got is. Uh, I think it's Hatsune Miku. I've got one on PS3, but I forget which one is. Oh god. Almost fell there. <laughs> oh, I actually got the two hits that time. It's only the second time ever I've managed to do that. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't actually been playing a lot of like online games lately. I don't know if my PS Plus is due to run out as well. So it might need to be something on Switch, but I heard uh, Mario Maker 2 got patched a couple days ago. So you can play that online with, with people now, so maybe we can play Mario Maker or something. I haven't played Mario Maker in a long time either. Mario Maker 2 is like something people would be interested in, we could set it up to play co-op. I'll need to remember I put my friend code in the chat like at some point, either that or like put it in my description or something. If only I actually got through, uh, a few people on Switch. Last time I played Mario Maker was that one time on stream. I got, like, it was the same when I bought the first Mario Maker, I only played it for so long and then I just kind of got bored of it. Like, it's fun for a while, but... And 
description. Yeah, well, maybe I actually do that now that you mention it, like, when I'm finished here I'll put it in, like, just under a description of my videos. Because I think they've added, like, a party option and stuff on Switch now. Or it's, like, actual invites and stuff. Yep, I already got the last one. <laughs> I think there is other bonus stages in Green Hill Zone, but I don't know where everything is in it. And I like I, I kind of like to figure them, you know, like where most of them are on my own, even if it takes ages. <laughs> Although every time I play this game, I swear I always go the same way. Force a habit. I think I'll play the Puyo Puyo match safe as well, just in case Eggman gets any ID. I don't know how I'm actually gonna switch cartridges like after this game without it crashing the stream. Because I forgot like when I'd set it all up like I was gonna have to change for Sonic Forces when I got on it. Hopefully I'll be able to get it without cutting off. Although if that does happen anyway I'll just set up another one. Is online. That's another thing I forgot about that. Has it got any good co-op games on it? Or is there like any kind of beat-em up games or... Because I do like a good beat-em up. Kirby Online, was that the one they was free to play? The one they showed at the event thing a couple weeks ago? I downloaded that but I haven't actually tried it yet. It's funny, I was last week I was putting in like all the codes for all the Switch games I bought over time in order to get the Nintendo points. Because I completely forgot you could actually do that. And then it turns out like two or three of them expired. It was uh, Breath of the Wild and uh... I forget if it was... I think it was a Mario game that... Ex or it was... Maybe Mario Odyssey that expired. And they were like two of the ones that would have got you most points.
I mean, I don't touch Mario Odyssey in a long time, you know? Kirby Dream Land 3. What are you doing that one? Is it just like a full game co-op or...? Would have been good if the online actually worked, see on the Mega Drive collection or the Genesis one that's on PS4 and Switch and Xbox. But the online and it still doesn't seem to work properly. Or we could play for the Streets of Rage or something. There's also versus things. Oof, I think if it's a fighting game you'd probably kick my ass in it. I'm garbage at fighting games. Zuri's multiplayer. I, I actually am not too sure about that, but that would be hilarious if we had that gun. <laughs> Good praise the Lord. <laughs> Probably it's multiplayer that gun. my thoughts on Sage 2019. I've only seen little pieces of it. I've been watching some of Frank's videos on it for uh, Knuckles' videos. There's some decent stuff in it. I don't usually watch a lot of it though, like, I always forget it's an actual event. I've been watching some of those uh, Games Done Quick videos though, like just whatever I was interested in. I haven't actually watched a lot of it this year. What about you? Anything interesting on it? Don't have the Mega Drive collection. That's what I'm saying, it's probably not worth buying that anyway, the online doesn't work in it. As far as I remember. Project Hero, I think. That's one I still need to watch a video for. Is it like a Sonic Raiders kind of thing? I thought I'd seen that on Frank's thumbnail, I think. Hey zombie, what's up? How is you? See, I think I've got games that are multiplayer, I just haven't played a lot of them lately. I think Resident Evil 6 would have been great fun like to have a group of us playing like Predator mode in it because that's always a good fun one. And we still need to get Operation Raccoon City going again. Maybe do that uh, this coming weekend, maybe?
It does extreme gear, but it's no Rider skin. Ah. It's because I've seen like the thumbnail of it and I thought it was uh, a Rider skin. Shot for that a bit too quick there. <laughs> Maybe game for some more RP. Nice. As I say, we'll get a group of us and we'll play again at the weekend. I need to set a coffee again because he's been waiting for a, a while for us to play it. And then we need to try the DLC at some point as well. A lot more like adventure with modern twist. There was there was one I watched on it that was it was kinda like Sonic Adventure or it had Sonic Adventure stages in it that looked pretty cool. I'd love to try it at some point. I don't, I don't know how to download half of these demos and stuff. Like, do you have to go onto someone's website to get them, or...? Oops. I'm just gonna let Tails drop me there, but he doesn't want to let go. Gosh, I almost got crushed there, I think. He <laughs> just dropped me right on that. He drops me, I drop him. Avoid the other part and it's one of the rat things that men just to get me. That's my luck. Yeah, 
easy win for sure. <laughs> right into the super tails. Sonic and Knuckles again at some point, or Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I haven't played it in so long. Oops. <laughs> I'm rusty, I forgot where I was going then. I think when I first played this, this is where like I first got killed because I got crushed on the way down there. I, like I didn't expect that block was gonna like pull on down. I swear though, it doesn't seem to always pull down. It just seems almost kind of random. Bother trying to go for too many extra lives and stuff like through bonus stages this time either.
I feel like very lucky I wasn't crushed there, but it looked almost close enough to still hit. Same is it for you guys where you are right now? It's uh, 25 to 12 at night over here. Almost midnight. That part now, like I'm always like unsure whether I just jump right away. Because a couple of times I've done that, like it seems to catch you back into the spike. Oh, 
a long time I've been hit by that one as well. Usually you're going too fast for it to come anywhere near touch. have it there at that part if you held left on when you were dropping down there you could get crushed in that top block part even though there's a big gap in it and they must have patched that play an older EA NHL game. Is that the, the ice hockey one? I used to love playing the ice hockey game on the Mega Drive years ago. I forget what it was called though. Like an EA Sports game. Never been too much of a sports guy, but some of the stuff used to be fun. I feel like nowadays though they're really milking their sports game, like bringing FIFA every year and Madden every year. <laughs> Bag what they didn't suck. Was it a couple years ago they won the award for like worst video game company somewhere? Well, I think the likes of Konami is going to be getting up there soon. Capcom will eventually get up there at some point as well, with like the kind of shady stuff they're pulling nowadays. Like overpricing for old ports and stuff. I think Tails just shoved that extra life back into the wall somewhere, I didn't even get it. That was one for like, the rings, I don't know what happened there. Never a sports guy, until you get into hockey. I see it. It used to be the hockey game I played on Mega Drive that was quite fun. Used to be able to get like in the fights and stuff on it. I forget what it was called though. Game years ago on Mega Drive that was pretty good. I think it was called General Chaos. And it used to be like a kind of. It's like a war type game, but it was. Like you these guys like flamethrowers and machine guns and stuff, and you used to be able to like. 
you got these little one on one fight parts and stuff in it that was actually pretty fun. There's so many good games on the Mega Drive. Mr. X and Super Smash Sim for. <laughs> Oof, Mr. X. I still can't believe how overpowered he was in that Project Resistance beta. Like, he had a, uh, his regular punch in it. He could just corner you and just constantly mash. If you mash square, you could just keep punching them till they were down. And there was one time where we knocked Mr. X down in it and he trapped me in the corner, like, when he was just down. <laughs> I couldn't do anything about it. So, they really, really need to nerf some of the stuff in that game. I still haven't actually played Fortnite yet. I've seen Batman got added to it though. It actually looked quite fun. I downloaded it last year and then I deleted it and never played it. Normally come up here, didn't even though that shield was up here. Yeah, I think just in general, Project Resistance wasn't all accurate. I would say it's definitely a cheap cash grab. Like it was, it was fun for a little bit, but it's. It got so repetitive, like, so fast. You're not like if you aren't playing it with a headset or anything, it's just almost impossible to win in it. Unless you're playing as a master man. I feel like anybody trying to kinda defend it now and saying it's good just kinda will take anything at this point. It's a shame it wasn't an outbreak game though like everyone wanted. No worries, zombie. Catch you soon.
I wonder how much it actually will sell when it comes out, because you know what, there's going to be the die-hard people that will buy, like, biggest edition and all that of it. Normally I would have, but I just really don't like it all that much. I say it's not the worst thing ever made, but it's not great. I really wish they'd left the option in this for, like, choosing what version of this boss you want. So I actually kind of like the other one better. Or at least save this version of it for Encore mode. A lot of people thought it was going to be like Dead by Daylight, from what I heard. I thought it was going to be like Friday the 13th. But it's... It's weird to explain it, it's almost kind of like a generic shooter kind of thing. And the areas in it are way too cramped, so it's like you're only in tiny corridors and stuff. So like there isn't even all that much room to explore in it. I got a glitch in it as well where one of the items I needed to move into the next area didn't even spawn till the last minute or so. That led to us all getting killed. I mean I'm got a feeling the iron neck kind of stuff out by the time it comes out but even still like nobody seems to be bringing up the bugs or anything or like the big problems with it. And when you're trying to like destroy the canisters and stuff in the, the last part, they just, they take so much damage to go down. Bizarre. I actually didn't realise the day I finished up today as well, I thought it was like a month long thing for some reason. Taking the bottom route. No, I think I'll grab a shield here for once.
I think that code still worked. Or maybe it doesn't work. That shield for the two seconds I had it. Hey, real Sonic, what's up? That jump is so tricky to make it into the bonus stage part. Comes back here because there's uh, a bubble shield up here. I have no idea where Tails is. <laughs> Must have got a glitch stun something. Hey Alex, welcome back. I thought you were playing Hattie Bar, it came up on main a second ago you were on it. play Sonic Forces tonight or if I may just leave it till tomorrow or something. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I got a call just before I started this to see if I'm going to work tomorrow night as well. So we'll see. 
We will see. Here, everybody's talking about that Joker movie being like really controversial lately. There's some weird stuff going on, like it's, you know, cinemas and things. As I say, I'll probably just wait till it comes out on Blu ray or something and then check out. It's weird though for a movie to build up so much hype and then now it's getting so much. Like hate towards it for some reason. There was something about the parents or something saying they, they shouldn't have took their kids to the movie and as you say it's a dark movie like why, why are kids even going to see it? Seems like such an odd thing to like people would be complaining about. What is the age rating on it? Is it an 18 or is it M for mature or whatever? I forgot, I haven't actually checked it in a bit. Rated R. So is R worse than mature? I'm not sure how the ratings work over there. Over here, an 18 is the highest age rating. A drunk guy laughing at deaths in the movie and spin. <laughs> well, the media always forgets at the end of the day as well, it's just a movie. I always seem to take it as if it's like really serious. I mean, like, I, I don't normally even bother with those kind of movies now, now, you know, like DC and stuff like that, but I honestly thought the Joker movie looked pretty good. I feel like the Joker has been kind of oversaturated lately as a character. Our means respected and can't see without parent. I see over here, there's, there used to be a, an age rating that was 12A. I think it was for when Spider Man came out. I don't know if any other movie had been used. Great movie if you're the right audience. 
Yeah, I reckon I probably would enjoy it. I just feel like a lot of these newer movies and stuff, like in the DC and Marvel universe, just do not interest me at all. Like a lot of the characters and stuff, I've got no idea who they are. Only Marvel one I was really interested in was Spider-Man. And even now it's kinda less interested, because I just don't think Tom Holland's as good. <laughs> hey Coffee, what's up? You down for Operation Raccoon City at the weekend? Can I see if we can get a group of us to play again? Ooh, gosh, I thought I wasn't gonna stick the land in that. Probably would still end it. <laughs> like B Man. Yeah, this this special sequel. I think like the last time I really watched any kind of DC movies was uh, Batman Begins, you know, the, the Christopher Nolan trilogy. I loved the first two of those and then I don't remember much of the third one at all. Dark Knight Rises was it? Just remember it was not that great. <laughs> Doctor Beast. Anybody seen the new Lion King movie or Aladdin? Are they any good? Or are they as bad as people thought they were gonna be? I just started watching Breaking Bad again yesterday because I've finished Supernatural, been watching like 13 seasons of it. And now I can't find the other seasons online to buy anyway. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with it. Never seen like I thought you wanted to see that with Nikki did or was I just thinking something else? I think it comes out next month on Blurry. Aladdin was subpar. I just, like, I couldn't imagine Aladdin with uh, Robin Williams. It would never be the same, honestly.
I feel like Disney will eventually just remake all their old movies now because they're running out of ideas. Oh, you went to see Aladdin with Nicky? Ah. And look at that Sonic movie coming out next year. <laughs> I really, really don't know what to make of that movie now. Although I still want to see it. Never know, it might be one of those guilty pleasure movies at some point. Where it's like, it's so bad it's good. Like Street Fighter. Update since February. See, I don't think they'll show the design now, see, until the actual movie comes out. I think they'll be that worried about it now that if they show it again beforehand and it got so much hate again that they would just, they wouldn't know what to do from that point. So I think we won't actually see anything until it comes out. Either that or they're just stalling for time. As I say, I, I get the feeling they won't give us any trailers now, see until the actual launch trailer comes out, and then people will see what it looks like. <laughs> Probably it'll be like a tiny difference or something, people will be like, oh god, I waited once for this. Like, oh, he's got a pair of sunglasses now. And a t-shirt. I'll just give him the suit from the, the Sonic movie. Getting go for it though, all they had to do was like make a CG movie like Sonic Unleashed. It would have been perfect. It seems like companies just don't understand that pretty much 95% of video games don't translate good to a movie. And then the ones that actually would translate good never get movies. Like Last of Us, I think, would make a great movie. I get the feeling that's one that will never be a movie. Remember trying to watch Hitman a couple years ago and I just could not sit for it. It was just so boring. I think Max Payton was even worse. Which is pretty sad considering Max Payton was a great game. A couple of video game movies I thought were actually pretty good. I, to say, like, I think the best one is uh, Mortal Kombat. Like it's really cheesy but it's still a pretty good movie. And, like Street Fighter is it's, it's like, <laughs> like you know it's a terrible movie but it's one of those movies I could watch like over and over again because it's so cheesy. Like it's so bad it's good. <laughs> the Ugandan Sonic model. No! How long it took them to get rid of or the Ugandan Knuckles meme to die off. I 
I meant to say as well, I started playing uh, Ghostbusters again off stream last night. And there was a point in it where one of the ghosts actually got stuck inside the wall somewhere. <laughs> so I had to reload my checkpoint. I think it happened twice. I had to reload the checkpoint just to get it to come back. Like, I, that was the first bugs that I'd seen in it. People were saying it was kind of buggy, but that was the first I ever seen of it. Although there's, I don't know if it's a bug or not as well, but when you start it up, there's sounds missing from the very start. I don't know if they were always there or... I honestly can't remember. Funny though, you'd think like whenever remasters and stuff come out, that'll be when they've sorted all the problems in the games, but it never seems to work out that way now. That without like having to pick up that shield. Fairly in isolation is gonna get a sequel at some point. There was rumor it was supposed to come. I haven't heard anything about that either though. There is way too many games coming up between now and uh, next March. And you got like Dragon Ball Kakarot's coming out in January, then Last of Us 2 in February, Final Fantasy in March. And then there's, oh, what do you call it, Death Stranding's out next month, and uh, Mario and Sonic, Star Wars. I'm sure there's something else, I can't remember what it was though. I think like this year there's been way too much stuff coming out like this soon. Let's <laughs> go. 
Kingdom Hearts 3.4. I almost forgot about that. The, the DLC is supposed to be coming out. I get the feeling they're gonna delay it though. They, the way it's on Instagram, it almost looks like it's gonna be delayed. Like, there's all this talk about the Madden Sephiroth in it now as well. Huh. Let me jump in. Okay then. I think they'll probably release Kingdom Hearts 3 Final Mix whenever that DLC comes up. Well, it makes me wonder how much extra DLC is going to be on it. My lucky day. I think I've been down this pathway in a long time. Hey Isaac, what's up? Yeah, I love this game. I I don't think this is probably my favourite game ever made, between this and Sonic Adventure. Hey Spring, what's up? Mania mode is right. Nice. I haven't played in, uh, or not Mania mode, uh, Encore mode, I haven't played in so long now. Huh, I thought that was gonna be enough to kill it there for a drop. Uh, I 
I think I'm gonna need Google Translate again. Oh. Look forward to the day when YouTube eventually has like an auto translate feature. <laughs> I always feel so bad like when I can't understand. Did to go in there for a fire shield, but yeah, we'll just go super instead. Yeah, I think I may actually leave Sonic Forces till tomorrow. Billy, what's up? <laughs> the dancing man. <laughs> Alright, 
I really don't know how that didn't actually touch me there. It looked almost as if I'd been hit in the head with it. Hey Gavar, what's up? How are you? How you been getting on with Zelda? And you've been streaming Breath of the Wild a few times. I've still got to finish uh, Link's Awakening. I'm close, but I've ended up lost in it. <laughs> Master, no chance. Be getting hit non stop on this one. Why are you eating? What's good for dinner? the rat.
<laughs> make it look easy. I think it's just a force of habit now playing it so many times. I swear I want them to that again there and it didn't hit it. Weird if you go like right on over here, I think it takes you down a longer path. Although I didn't make it all the way. I really need to pull up like some kind of translate. Hey Lesic, what's up? Thank you for the likes. How are you? For some reason, I started looking up. Oh, 
Is that a, I don't mind other languages at all, but that I can't understand. Like I would say the English. I thought I was gonna get squished up. levels to go. As I say, I think I will keep Sonic Forces for tomorrow or for the week. I think maybe, oh gosh, the background's glitched again. I think whatever I don't do this week, I can do next week, because I'm going to be off next week anyway. Can we do more Sonic streams or something? I'll check a time in one sec. Uh, 20 to 1 over here is almost 1 a.m. We must be like an hour or so apart. I think most people I've talked to are always like 5 hours apart from me. Roughly about five hours, give or take.
I got an extra light there for fun. There's the hole. Maybe. Playing Sonic Rush. I haven't actually played Sonic Rush in quite a while now. I need to get back to it at some point, but I don't have anything that I can uh, stream DS games with, unfortunately. I don't know anything about like DS capture cards. All I know is like they're really expensive and I think you would have to import them over here. I need to ask Frank about it again. I think some of the bonus stages on Sonic Rush can be a pain, like they're quite hard. But it was uh, not because of the touch screen controls and stuff. I was always worried I was going to scratch up my screen. Although I think Sonic Rush is a pretty good game. See, I haven't played it in a long time though. Sonic Colors on DS was a pretty good game. That's kind of like a bird Sonic Rush. Yeah, I think Sonic Mania does get easier the more you play it. I was saying that like most classic Sonic games are pretty easy to blast for. Unless you're trying to like some of the Game Gear ones. I don't think I've had all the emeralds on all of those. Thank you. 
not want to put that shield thing. Okay, there's my chair. 